You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Very excited to check out the Kenner's new Jet Action Easy Wash Dishwasher with four complete place settings of 28 pieces. Now this, as you can tell, well maybe you can't tell, if you go back to some of my Kenner videos, the packaging itself looks like a, a whole line of toys that they had at the time, which I believe are on the side of the box, but we'll check that out in a minute. Runs on water power, attaches to any ordinary faucet, no plug-in, no batteries, fascinating action. Push button to add detergent, Watch dishes spin and swirl as they wash in sparkling bubbles and rinse clean. Use in sink on drain board or in any tub. Light, portable, removable legs, removable dish rack, beautiful place settings, 28 pieces for parties, meals, snacks, and with these Kenner toys, Easy Bake Oven, we have that. Freeze Queen Dairy Stand Ice Cream Machine, we've shown that. The Whiz Fizz Soda Fightin', uh, Soda Fightin', yeah, I don't think I've shown that, but I have shown the Whiz Fizz Soda Fountain and the Big Burger Grill. I have all of those, shown all those on video. This was the last one. It is from 1967 Kenner Products. All right, so there are no other pictures on the other side. This looks exactly like the other side. It's the Kenner's new Jet Action Easy Wash Dishwasher. That's what it looks like on the legs in this picture. Attaches to any ordinary faucet. Runs on water power, no plug-in, no batteries. Exciting. And this is what's in the set. Easy Wash Dishwasher with detergent compartment and storage space. Removable dish rack, removable transparent cover, Faucet adapter and attachment with 24 inch hose, easy wash detergent, beautifully decorated place setting for four, 28 pieces, four of each. Now the other two, I'll give you a quick glimpse here. It's really not much more. You can see an item number here, 1300. All right, well, that is the box. You're kind of repeating this around the whole box. Let's check out the actual toy. Okay, I'm not sure when I open this, you will see it is different from what you see here, and this is a little different to what's in the box. So here we go. Let's look at the Kenner's new Jet Action Easy Wash Dishwasher. Ooh, look at all that cool stuff. Now, you have probably seen a lot of these little plates or similar plates uh, in my collection or on eBay or in different spots. So this is where some of them might have come from. Let's see. What's going on here? It says removable legs tableware these actually are supposed to go like this but for keeping them stable they don't really want to stay there so i have four of each of these to make it a complete set and then you see uh the four legs these will probably drop in there i think i put them here for storage because moving the box around they tend to fall in like that four of these and then i even have their little things that they connected to. So someone actually saved those. That's cool. All right, and then here is the detergent. Now, it's long gone. Kenner Easy Wash Dishwasher Detergent. But I will report to you, there is a reason uh, I cannot use it. Uh, and it's mainly because the unit itself is too old. All right, here we go. So this are the plates. All right. This are, these are the other plates. Now let me take these out before I lose them all. Here are the spoons, the forks. I lost one. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. That's probably why I had them in the cups. There's the forks. Let me get the legs out. You see how it's all just nicely put in there. Imagine trying to ship something like that. Near impossible. All right, now here are the cups. You've got these what look to be like teacups or coffee cups for those. And then these clear cups or tumblers. Now, this one has a little chip in it, but that's okay. I actually have more. And then let's see if I can. I can't really get this out now. I knew, I knew it. I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. But I wanted to show it to you in its form. There we go. Well, you're not seeing much there, are you? I'm struggling over here to try to get the little <laughs> knives out. Okay, they happen to be flat, as you can see. I'm going to just let you watch me struggle here. Because this doesn't come out. This is staple. 
Let's tilt it. Let's slide them down. All right. Ooh, I think I got this one. No, I don't. It's going to require two hands. You know, I had it all beautifully set. I should have just left it. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Number one. Ooh, there we go, the last one. Okay, the instruction booklet is tucked in there, and then the unit itself. Now, I will admit, I had to test this because it had some issues that I needed to work on, and I will discuss that with you right now. All right, that's all that's in the box. Let me move this all the way safely. There was nothing on the bottom of the box and nothing on the inner cover. All right. But what's broken on this is the soap dispenser. This button right here, the, it's supposed to be a mushy plastic. You know how like uh, lawn mowers or snow blowers or uh, yard equipment, you got to press, 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 press to put the fuel into the carburetor area. Well, that's what this is supposed to do. Although you fill this little compartment with the soap and some water and it comes out this little hole and shoots up into the dishwasher. This here doesn't do anything. So let's do this. Let's take this beautiful cover off. It's Kenner. It's fun. And there's that little birdie. Can you see the little birdie in there? Okay, let's put that down there. Here's the removable basket. That's where you put all of your utensils, I believe. And this is what I was looking at on the inside. And I noticed uh, hot glue. Hot glue here. The way they did this, it got all over the other, uh, it got all over the bottom. This is just a stationary item. And then you see the holes. That's why it's got to go in a sink. This is the connector to the faucet. Now the faucet you see here, I don't have one of these older faucets. So I had to do some modifying, which I will show you when I bring this to a sink. I need to bring it to a sink. All right. And I noticed too on the box, there was another piece attached to this, which I do not have or does not come with this set. You see it kind of clips on the top of the faucet, locks on and holds it on the faucet, and that's a different end piece. So they must have gone through versions. You'll also see the double tube here. This is a, just a single tube. All right. Now I did the water test. I didn't do any cleaning tests, so that's what I need to do. And it's a dishwasher, so I don't really need to wash it. All right, let's see. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let me move the stuff out of the way. Let me go through this setup part of it, explain this to you. And oh, there's a cutting. You cut depending on your faucet. So it looks like maybe someone chewed it all up. I don't know. But I got it to work, so here we go. All right, first things first, the legs. It says attaching legs. Well, let me just show you that. And I always like to show you everything on the brochures that I have. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do the mixing the detergent, uh, and then uh, I can do the washing. Oh, uh, yeah, I do have all of these, actually. I can't wait to show them to you. I've shown them all to you on video, but in one video I have never done. All right, so the legs go in here. One, two, three. So really, I guess if you have those other toys and you're having a little party, you can play with all of them, get the dirty dishes, and then put them in your sink, right? All right, then attaching the faucet. We'll do that later, because I gotta move to the sink. I can't do it right here. It would make a huge disaster. All right, push in place. All right, so I need to prep, that goes there, each of the plates and cups. Now the snapping glasses, silverware in the center, push in plates. Let's try that. Let's just see. They show them going inward like this. Okay, yeah, so they sit in there like that. Let's see. Okay, so that's how they sit. It should stand up on its own when it's level, but right there we go. You had to get at least one of each side in. So then this would go here. And this goes here. Okay, push in saucers. I did that. Snap in cups. All right, so it looks like they go here and they just snap in. 
Okay, so it looks like you cannot put the same cups in the same section because they're just too wide. All right. I can't imagine that there being only one way to snap them in. Like, you, if you just want to do one thing or another, you can. All right. That one fits. Okay. Now, I want to dirty them. I'm definitely going to make things dirty. It's just a matter of, yeah, that one is still as nice as this one. Probably easier just from the bottom. Like this. Okay, and the last cup holding all of the silverware, which is plastic. Okay, they have that like that. And then who organizes the silverware in their dishwasher? Do you put all of the spoons in one section? Do you mix them up and then whoever gets to put them away has like a, you know, fun time trying to find all of the different things. And then this should go in here. Oh, oh. Let's see if these interfere with this. There we go. I wonder if there are specific slots these are supposed to go in. Let me take a closer look at this. Oh, there is. Okay, so there's little holes in the cup. I did not notice it at first. This is actually in one of those holes. It does not want to come out, though. Hmm. This will easily come out. Okay. Boy, you're just wedged in there. I didn't even push it. Hmm. Oh, I see why. These have like little ridges on them. And it locked in just so perfectly. Come on, there you go. All right, let's do that again. And then the center sits on that pin. I don't know if you can see in there. You see those little holes? I was supposed to put each piece in a hole like that. Good luck to the kids that figure that one out right away. Probably says it in the instructions though. It just says silverware in basket. That's all it says. It doesn't say it gets in the way of the spinner. This way. Okay. One at a time. Well, I have to make things dirty. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. I think I'll just take some like ketchup and mustard and different things and kind of see how they play out in there. Yeah, it's hard to actually hit the hole on that piece every time. Right, there we go. I think we're good. We're going to have to just leave it like that. I can't believe it'd be so precise because at this point this thing is going to be spinning when the water hits it. That leg wasn't pushed in. Okay, so now we're balanced. It's a learning curve for me, everybody. It's not something I do every day. Well, actually, I do quite a bit, but it has been a while. And then the lid would go on, and then we would need to take it to the sink. But I think you get it now how this actually works. And then the water sprays out of here in the bottom, hits everything, and it's super jet action. All right, I'll tell you what, I gotta set up some lights move to another part of the house and we will check it out all right i am back but i'm in my kitchen now so i'm gonna sound more echoey i guess because the room is bigger uh here we go let's get this in the sink and i will show you what i needed to do to get this to work on my faucet now older faucets have a different uh, nozzle on them and they would fit right over that so i have to do this and this is what 
took me a little bit to figure this out. I grabbed a little, whatchamacallit, push this on as hard as it'll go, and then just tighten that up. And it should allow pressure. We'll test it. Okay, that's pretty tight. Let me just move this out of the way first. I will turn the water on and see if it if it holds. Otherwise, I gotta readjust it. Okay, I'm gonna readjust it. Ooh, did you see that? That was cool. Right, I'm gonna readjust this slightly. As you can imagine, it's not uh, it was never intended to be used exactly like this. So, imagine it's from the '60s. Faucets where you can still buy those types of faucets, but all right, let's just see if that holds a little better. Well, let me tighten it up a little more. I had it working perfect. Let's see. No, all right, I'll tell you what, let me figure this out the best way and I will come back. Okay, spinning like a charm, no leak. I just moved the clamp up slightly. So let's move that out of the way. It should be no problem. Now, let me just turn it on and then you can kind of just watch it for a minute as you see how it works. Now the water is coming out the bottom. Let me see if I got this full speed. There we go, that's full speed. Now tell me that's not pretty cool how that thing works. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let it run. I'm gonna bring the camera in. It's gonna get everything wet, but it's really, whoa. Hey, it is pretty wild. Let's turn the pressure down slightly. There we go. Alright, that seems more manageable. Let me give you a couple angles and then we'll dirty some things up and see how it washes. But here we go, I will be back. All right, so that is what it looks like. I'll bring it up to full speed again. There we go, that is full speed. It's hanging on. You're probably asking yourself, how does it work? What, what's making it spin? Well, I can show you, but I need to pull the legs off, which I'll do, and then I'll make it lower in the sink because otherwise it's gonna splash the camera and everything. So let me do that and then we'll check it out. Okay, so what's making it spin? This is, this is not connected to anything, right? You can just pull this out and it's your little server tray. Ah, that's what's making the sound. Hopefully it, there we go. Ooh, okay, let's get this plate in. Boy, it must have just shot out. And then let's see if we can squeeze this one in here. All right, so I'm gonna slowly turn the water on. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see a water squirting out of here and the bottom. But what's happening here, it's squirting it this way. There's one going this way, but it's really going this way and it's hitting this. And that's what's creating the spin plus the underneath. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna leave the lid off just so you can kind of see. Okay, so now you see it spritzing out here. Hits the plates and it starts its cleaning process. Now even though it's hitting this side, the majority are shooting this way. There's some lower down here and then they go all the way. Now I have it on hot water, not that that makes a difference. Let's see if I can get it on full speed. Let me bring the camera up just a little to keep it from hitting the camera. 
while it's in the sink. I think I need to bring the camera up even more. Sounds better now, doesn't it? Okay, let's see, a little faster. Whoa, I think it's hitting the camera lens. But as you can see, everything around it is getting wet. So let me just put the lid on it. There we go. Now I should be able to squish this here and put soap into it. But like I said, that is not working. Time to dirty some stuff up, and then uh, we'll see how it cleans. Let me move over the counter here. I'll get some ketchup, some mustard, and we'll just dirty up some plates and cups, and then give them a wash. All right, I had to actually wipe the lens. There was a little smudge. I don't know if I can, wasn't able to get it off. Is it still there? I can't tell. All right, so what did I have for dinner tonight? I had chili for dinner. So let's, let's bring some chili up. Let's do that. Okay, let's pretend we're eating and having a great meal. And then the other day I had a little chicken salad. So, you know, why not? See what chicken salad does. Here we go, a little chicken salad. So now imagine if I was doing Lucky Mini Food or any kind of cooking video and this was my setup. Well, I'm gonna leave the silverware, plasticware dirty. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Spinach artichoke. Let's take that. Now let's put some on here. Now usually when you put things in your dishwasher, right, you Clean them up, you rinse them, right? Why is it, why do you have a dishwasher if you gotta rinse and wash it before you put it in? Well, it does heat up and do a much better job than just a regular old sink. All right, here we go. A little, little mustard. We'll squish that around. A little ketchup. I didn't take all of the plates and stuff out, but I think you're going to get the idea. And then in this cup, I was going to do some grape juice, right? You're snacking. Okay. And then in the other cup, I'm going to put some Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Okay. In all fairness, I know this is not really meant to clean all of this like this so you wouldn't put that in there but let's just scrape some off pretend okay you just got finished eating you scrape it off real nice you end up with that right okay and then you have your fork you're cleaning up your mustard we'll leave that like that really nice okay dirty plate your ketchup i mean it spins pretty fast you would think it would clean this we will see all right, well, I'll tell you what, let's just leave that dirty like that. Let's go over here. Well, I do want a sip of the Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Left some in there. All right, the, oh, I might as well just eat that, right? Mm, it is pretend time, but I might as well have a snack. And the spinach dip. Mmm. Let's smush that around a little bit. Actually, let's just leave a little spinach on there, huh? We'll see how the thing handles that. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Back to the dishwasher now that everything's good and dirty. 
let's see if it cleans this. Okay, so let's pretend everything is dirty. You're done with your party. Dirty party. Okay. Let's get this one in here. I have trouble getting this lighting because I'm in a new environment, so it may not be perfect. Mm, the cups. Those may be a challenge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look how dirty this is. Dirty, everything's dirty, you're just jamming in the dishwasher. Are you the dishwash emptier in your family? Look at that. Some mustard. And this one with the chunks of spinach. Let's spin this around to here. I wonder if something went in that slot. Hmm, don't know. This is my Dr. Pepper cup. Wait, was this Dr. Pepper? I don't remember. Or the juice. Okay. Now some of that silverware is coming out the bottom, which I think is going to be a problem. I think out of everything, it's just the placement of the silverware that infringes upon the spinning. Hmm, that's just great. All right, let us turn, well, let us put the lid on it and just work it like it's supposed to work. Here we go. Now I should be I, using soap, but I can't. And both of the ones I have are the same way, so I think it's just the way that plastic was made way back when. use hot water. I think that's hot. Something must have fell in it, so let me see if something fell down. seems like it might be hitting the edge. Okay, so the ketchup's still on there. What's it hitting? I don't see anything down there. It could just be the way these spoons are. Let me set this one here. Okay. Here, I'll do it a little bit without the uh, lid on. Okay, so it does say, don't turn it on too fast. The flow may spin the rack too fast and throw silverware out of the basket. They knew that before they even, uh, well, they knew that as they designed it. Okay, I just gotta see if I have, yep, that's hot water. Okay, I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes. Let's stop it. Let us turn it on. And I'll let it go for a few minutes.
interested in seeing where it's at right now. Okay. That was probably a couple minutes. I wasn't keeping track of the time, so technically, but I did not edit the video. Well, I would say 90% is off. I just see a little bit on this one here. No mustard, no ketchup. So I bet you if I let it go, there's some in here still. All right, I'm gonna let it go. Ooh, there's a chunk of spinach. That is a chunk of spinach. Let's just do it again. Let it go a little bit longer. And then I will, it says to let it dry inside the unit. I could see how the water is blasting the plates coming from this way and the back. It's almost like it's doing the back from this way and the fronts from the other way. I don't know, I was looking at it, it's quite mesmerizing. Let me just zoom you in and slowly sleep as it spins through my eyes. It hurts my eyes. Maybe I can get it faster without the lid on. That has to be one of the coolest toys I have ever demonstrated for you. I've been wanting to do this for months. That's not full speed. That's full speed. Whoa! Ooh, it's like a little motorcycle. Okay, I'll tell you what, I think that works pretty good. Let me uh, clean up the kitchen area and bring this back into the video booth and wrap it up with you. I think you got a good look at it, huh? Okay, I wasn't able to easily get all those other sets, so I'll put links in the description so you can check it out and check them all out. All right, so let's just see. And then as I was carrying this downstairs, I'm saying to myself, you know, even a dishwasher that runs for an hour, leave stuff on dishes. Okay, there's just a tiny bit of something there. Otherwise, the plate came out pretty clean. Let's just see. Tiny little stuff here and there. But from a fun playtime experience, I'm gonna say, it is cool to watch. Overall, it would probably work better than most dishwashers. Now, I, of course, it was all fresh, clean stuff. It wasn't, ooh, there we go. That's the cincher right there. <laughs> this, well, I don't know. I've seen that in my regular dishwasher, but that one, I purposely left a bunch. Oh, and there's a little mustard there. Okay, so I spoke too soon, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I think overall, it's for play. And of course you want clean dishes, but just may not happen all the time. All right, so please do me a huge favor. I'm gonna put links to those other three or four sets. Can you watch those? I really can use the help right now with watching and everything going in with YouTube. These came out nice. Let's see, this spoon that's stuck in the spoon, the one behind it was clean, but the one in front of it had some homemade chili in it. Okay, that had a tiny, tiny little bit of chicken debris. Well, what do you think? Are you okay with it? Let me know. And thanks for watching. If you can watch, like I said, please do. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I'll just continue drying my stuff. Now, I did say just leave it to dry, but while I'm here talking to you, I'm going to dry everything. And that's all. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.